everyone. My name is Salish Matter from California. You probably know me from my dad's channel, Jordan Matter. Yeah, I took over it. The man had his own channel, photographing people and nice things, and boom! One day, the titles on his channel were like, my daughter did this and my daughter did that. He never planned for this to happen. You know what they say, chance is worth a thousand plans. Yeah, I can be poetic sometimes. Actually, English is one of my favorite subjects, but math? Oh God, I hate it. If you're a math hater, comment below. Okay, okay, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm Salish, my parents call me Say sometimes. I'm your typical girl next door. Typical family, typical childhood. A typical teenager with a not very typical name. My parents gave me this name, which means giver of the water. I love my name. I think it's unique and cool. There is some uniqueness in my life, actually, like some unique people. And no, it's not Nidal. If you're here to hear about me and Nidal, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Not gonna talk about that boy. No way. Nuh uh. Nope. And please, animator, if I accidentally mention him, which is very, very, very unlikely, please cut it out. This story is about me, not him. Yeah, whatever. As most of you know, I'm a gymnast. Gymnastics is more than a sport or hobby to me, it's part of my identity. It makes me who I am today. I started it at a very young age. Fun fact, did you know that most major gymnasts start their career as early as two years old? And that was my case too. Dad said that when I was only two years old, I told him I wanted to be the best gymnast in the world. Oh, I mean, kids at that age will say anything. No, but seriously, I wanted to be really, really good. My gymnast friends were amazing, and we were very close. And let me be honest, gymnastics wasn't easy at all. But having friends makes everything easier and more fun. And whenever I had to compete, they were there to root for me. That's why leaving them was one of the saddest days in my life. Well, you see, when I was 10, my parents decided that we'd move to LA. I had been living my whole life in Nyack, a village near New York City. I had so many amazing memories there, especially with my oldest brother, Hudson. We were always together, cooking together, celebrating our birthdays together, and even getting glasses together. You name it. I was also close to my mom. She's my idol. Dad and Hudson can be annoying sometimes, but mom? Oh man, she's amazing. She's camera shy though, and that's okay. She even once agreed to do a mom reveal on the channel, although I know how anxious that made her feel. But we have so many things in common. We're both vegetarians, and you know, having lunch with her is amazing because I can try her food all the time. I like shopping with her and getting our nails done together. And we once tried roller skating, but it didn't go well because she broke her ankle in three different places and I was super worried about her. The doctor said she wouldn't be able to walk for five months. She wasn't able to come to my gymnastics meet that we had been waiting for two years, which made me really sad. I'm not gonna deny that. I won four medals that day to make my mama proud. And soon enough, she got better. Fun fact about my mom, did you know that her birthday is a day before mine? So we celebrated it together. And it's one of the best days of the year. I was born on November 29, 2009, by the way. Yeah, mom is the best. I remember one day when mom wasn't feeling well for days and I had a very important shooting with dad, but I just couldn't leave mom that day. I told dad I wasn't going with him and ran to mom. I snuck under the bed while she was still asleep and started praying. Please, God, let mom live. Please, I'll be a good girl. Please, please, please. Say, I'm not dying, babe. You're awake? Mom, I don't want to go with dad. I want to stay with you. I want to be your little daughter forever. You'll always be my little daughter. But sometimes we have to do things even if we don't feel like it. This is what makes us responsible in life. Uh, I guess you're right. But no matter how old I get, you'll always be my mother. That's for sure. And well, about dad. Yeah, he was busy most of the time and I really missed him. Dad, are you coming home late tonight? Honey, you know daddy has to work, but I love you so much. Are you going to spend your time with Eliana? I said I love you, say say. And I said, are you going to spend time with Eliana? Well, yeah, we're shooting today, but I love you, say say. I love you too, daddy. I'm your only little girl. Always remember that. It's only me who's going to take care of you when you're old and wrinkly and bald and gray and fat and- Yes, I get your point. You're my only princess. I love you, Say Say. I love you too, Daddy. I thought Dad would be super happy about moving to LA, unlike the rest of my family. 
But one night, we were going for a ride in Dad's car, and Dad looked super occupied and worried. He didn't say much during the ride, and I just felt something was wrong. The moment he pulled over, I hugged him. Don't worry, Dad. Everything is going to be okay. And he hugged me back. And I felt so safe and peaceful. Yeah, I know I don't like to show my emotions a lot, but, you know, sometimes you have to do things you normally wouldn't do to help your loved ones. I mean, come on, Mr. Matter was feeling down. He's my dad. He's a redhead, but I love him. He's a good father. We only film on Sundays, and the rest of the week, we enjoy our time together. He drives me to school, we go to the beach, and ride bikes together. He's awesome and cool, I swear, and not as cringy as you see him in the videos. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Me and my friends share... Mm, wait, I can hear my dad in my head correcting me. It's my friends and I, and not me and my friends. Mm, never mind. I'm changing the entire sentence. Saying goodbye to my friends was the hardest day of my life. I got them each a present, and they were the happiest. Salish, you promise to keep in touch? I promise. I'll miss you guys so much. And I hugged them all very tight. I said goodbye to my life in Nayak, excited to start a new chapter in my life with my family by my side and gymnastics as my passion. What? What's going on? No, I'm not gonna say it. Nope. Mm -mm, forget it. Let's talk about the ceiling. Love the color. That's Eriolan, right? <sighs> Fine. I'm going to talk about it in general. And in case I give a lot of details, you have to cut all that out. Promise? Yeah, when I moved to LA, I met him. We were shooting a video together, then we went to Starbucks. I still remember what we got. Two vanilla frappuccinos, no whipped cream. And just like that, we became friends. <laughs> it's like we had the same energy. We would run around and play, trying to hurt each other. But of course, I always end up hurting him. I'm way stronger. He's only a big baby. Now I have to say his name, I know. He's Need All Wonder, a self-taught freestyle flipper prodigy, born in 2010. Yeah, he's too young. He has been making videos with my dad since he was eight. Yeah, I have to admit, he's cool. But did you notice? Like, yes, he's only 13 years old. But did you see his arm muscles? Oh boy. The first time I tried to wrestle with him, like always, I touched his arm. And man, you can tell this boy is going to be such a tough, good-looking man. I mean, he can look good in anything, even when he wears my white dress. Yeah. Oh, oh shoot. We're cutting that out, yeah? I mean, ew! I mean, I've been homeschooled since we moved to LA, and having it all around made everything easier. When we made the first challenging video, I was sure I was going to win over him. But I gotta say, competing with him was formidable. I'm just using a difficult word so Needall won't understand it. People loved us together, and they even started shipping us, and Dad was not super happy about it. There was even a hashtag, hashtag Nailish. People were using it. I mean, me and Nadal have chemistry. Like, you can easily tell he has the biggest crush on me, and he sees me in his dreams. <sighs> Poor thing. I never had a crush on him. Ew. Yeah, whatever. Like, maybe a little? You know, having a boy best friend is cool because it's different from having a girl best friend. You know, you can get physical with a boy, hitting and hurting him. It was like a new friendship I never experienced before, and I'm enjoying it. Yeah, of course you're enjoying it. I'm way cooler than you, and prettier, and smarter, and more talented. I always get the prizes in our challenges. Your poor dad has spent a lot of money on me because his daughter is a loser. Did you hear anything? That was just an annoying mosquito, but I got rid of it. MSA, please don't animate him. I'm way cooler. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the Wonder Boy is really my best friend. We had sleepovers, we celebrated Halloween, and even recorded a music video together. He's funny, and he doesn't care about what people think. He's honest and a daredevil, and I really like his personality. You know what these honest friends are like? Hey, you look ugly in that dress, like a bald monkey. Take it off now! Yeah, that's him. And also, he's kinda cute. <laughs> um, cute. Mm, fine, he's cute. I hope dad doesn't notice this part. But also, we do have a lot of differences. I mean, he eats meat and uses plastic straws. And also likes weird boy stuff like, yeah, I agree, I like weird stuff. Including you. <laughs> and after six amazing months of friendship and affection, Nidal had to leave for Texas. And it made me very sad, having to say goodbye to another close friend. We promised we'd talk every day, FaceTime and message each other. But, you know, it's not like the same thing, having him around and seeing him in person. And I was a bit upset about it. 
At least I had Boomer around. Boomy is my dog and one of the best things in my life. I took him for a walk every day before school and it cheered me up every time. But I still always felt empty because I missed my best friend. And I think my parents noticed it because one day, dad took me to Universal Studios and he told me we were making a video. But suddenly, while we were walking, someone held me from the back and I immediately knew it was Nidal. He hugged me and I wrapped my arms around him and it was an amazing moment. Actually, this is one of the many surprises we have for each other. We've been surprising each other in the last year and it made missing him less painful. And you know what's even cooler? Nadal spent his summer vacation here in LA and we made so many videos together. Speaking of surprises, my dad always came up with cool ideas to shoot. But one of the best things I enjoy doing is skincare and get ready with me videos. Yes, I wake up at 5.45 and spend two hours getting ready. But beauty has a price, you know? No, no, seriously. Boomy takes about 30 minutes in the bathroom. So it's only an hour and a half. Not a lot. And also, I'm the first stop for the school bus, and I have to be the earliest. Which is not fair, by the way. I was a bit worried that I wouldn't fit into my new school. Especially that I was the only new 8th grader in the school. It's insane. But thank God, it's been going pretty well so far. And I have made some new friends. And I love that we don't have a dress code at our school. And I can choose nice clothes every day. Man, I'm so happy. Actually, all this YouTube content is amazing. Making videos with my dad, doing challenges with talented people, having collaborations with cool people and YouTubers like Britt Rivera and Darman and many other amazing people. And now, I even have my own channel. Please go subscribe now. Life is good. All you have to do is to stay positive and like this video. If you want me to react to this video, please comment below. Salish is the best MSA MC ever. You're not cutting that out, yeah? Mm, you know what? Don't cut anything out. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Love ya. Bye.